Welcome back to CBS Morning. Some of the most innocent victims of the war in Ukraine have only just been born. You were looking at some of the hundreds of infants born to Ukrainian surrogates who are now trapped by the fighting there, kept away from their biological parents, who are helpless to keep them safe as they anxiously watch the war from other countries. Charlie Daggett has spoke with the nurses keeping these little babies alive and with a couple who decided they just couldn't wait any longer. They range in age from just a few days old to five months. 21 temporarily stranded surrogate babies orphaned for now by the war raging above this makeshift basement bomb shelter, but not abandoned, looked after by an exhausted team of dedicated nurses like Antonina Yufimovich. Are you getting enough rest? You look very stressed. Our rest is no more than 30 minutes or an hour. We can't take more time. A lot of babies cry. They get a half an hour, an hour of sleep at a time. That's all the time. Day and night. Day and night, yes. Ukraine is a global leader in surrogacy. When the war broke out, it became too dangerous for the biological parents to come get them. The Growing Families charity estimates as many as 800 couples are waiting for their babies, including those from America. Standing sentry outside, we find Chief Dr. Igor Pechenoga not in scrubs, but combat fatigues. We're in a war, he explains. What are you telling the parents? The truth, he says, what is happening here? The people are dying. Children are dying, too. Not just soldiers, but also children, mothers, sisters. I think he's hungry. <laughs> Hecke and Gerhard Gotzkok from Bavaria, Germany, decided the risks of traveling into an active war zone outweighed the risks of leaving Leonard in one. That's why you came. We have no electricity, no water. Uh, that's very dangerous for Could our be. baby. That and is so not, thought, not the normal. When now, later it's dangerous. It's more dangerous. You thought, but let's go know. and get yes. there now. Yes. 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 The rest of the newborns remain safe for now. But as the war worsens and advancing Russian artillery strikes the capital, how safe and for how long? For CBS Mornings, Charlie Daggett, Kyiv, Ukraine. Oh, man. And with Sweet 21 baby. babies, you know there's always somebody crying. I just yeah. never thought about that part of the war. No, I there's so many layers that you don't even think about that affect, affect different people. That's it. It's a reminder that the ripple effect of yeah. war has a multi-generational impact on the people that are fighting it. Also, just how connected we are. You know, yeah. surrogates from all over the world. And imagine the first five months of your life, that's the oldest baby there, yeah. in a basement under fluorescent lights, no leaves, no sunlight. It's... How much stimulation way. can you get? And we all know how important that is. They're doing the best they can. I hope yes. that that nurse gets some relief. Yeah. The only silver lining is that the babies have no idea what is going on. What is on. going on. No. Yeah.